I joined the army because I didn't want to go to college right after high school. I was actually pretty tired of school. I didn't want to go back to school or get into any student loans. So I thought joining the military would be a great idea. Now your boy is in college and a lot of you guys are asking me what it's like to go to college while serving active duty in the military. And I didn't want to just put out a video without me actually going to college. I'm currently pursuing a bachelor's in cybersecurity and information assurance at WGU. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about going to college while serving active duty in the military. So one of the benefits in the military on top of the GI Bill is that you guys get tuition assistance. Tuition assistance varies by branch, but in the Army, they give you up to $4,000 per year to go to school. If you want to go to college and not pay anything out of pocket while you're active duty, you can totally use your tuition assistance. And also, if you qualify, you can also use your Pell Grant and you can use all that money and you guys can go to college. That's exactly what I'm doing right now to get my bachelor's degree. Hopefully I finish it before I get out the military so that way I can use my GI Bill to pursue my master's or I can give it to my kids. Don't think it's sweet though. If you guys fail college or if you guys drop out of a college course or you quit the military before you finish that course, you will be paying that money back that the military gave you in tuition assistance. So they're gonna give you this money but you actually have to you don't know, fulfill your obligation to them, you know? So finish your college courses. but. Usually colleges give you like a grace period before, you know, it's reported on your record that you actually dropped the course. I think it's like two weeks before the course starts. So definitely think about, you know, whether or not you guys want to actually do this college course before you, you know, have to commit your money to something that you didn't even do. So now I'm going to tell you why you should go to college. And I'm just going to keep it a buck with you guys. Before the military, I was the type of person to say like, oh, college is a scam, yada, yada, yada. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of money. And although I don't agree with that statement wholeheartedly now i do believe like the whole processes how college books are so freaking expensive the fact that the price of college went up but the whole quality of the education hasn't really gone up since either if you're getting your college degree for free because of the military like just go to college man like honestly get like an associate's get some sort of college degree or vocational program something under your belt before you get out because you guys can get paid via the pell grant if you guys go to school in the military, it just opens more doors for you and your career just opens more pathways for you to choose. It increases your earning income. I'll put some statistics on the screen right here and it's free. The military is going to put you through so much stress and hardship and the fact that you guys don't take advantage of this opportunity, you guys are going to definitely regret it. All right. So the process, the process of going to college while active duty, it's not hard. The hardest part is starting. Remember that kids like that's with anything in life except computer science. Each base you guys go to should have an education center and you guys can basically go to the education center, talk to a counselor and they will basically walk you through and tell you how to go to college paid for by the military tuition assistance and if you guys don't know you know what college to go to or you know what you want to do they can help you out with that too i'm going to wgu i recommend it but i also went to amu for a little bit most of the colleges that you're probably going to go to are going to be online and you know online college is pretty cool because most of the time you can accelerate or it's based off of your schedule and most professors should be able to work with you if you got like a field training exercise coming up i recommend wgu because they have a lot of degree programs that also come with the certifications that that industry looks for on job resumes and the most important thing for me or there's two you can accelerate and tuition assistance basically covers for the whole semester like not semester but basically i can use my tuition assistance to actually get the whole degree like my whole bachelor's degree because most of the times tuition assistance isn't going to be enough to get a whole bachelor's degree if you guys go to like any other college that i don't know of the only college that i know of where you could do this is at wgu and so definitely look into it and do your research and see if it's right for you the only thing that i can say is that they took my pell grant money too instead of giving it back to me because like that's an extra thousand a thousand five hundred dollars that i could have used for like totally school stuff i just like the fact that i can use my whole tuition assistance to pay for a whole term or my whole degree program i think that's really cool allowing me to use my gi bill to study abroad give it to my kid or pursue my master's going to college while active duty though this is something that's going to depend on what job you have in the military and essentially if you have a job that has a strict schedule that's the same every day that's going to be more of a job that you can actually you know pursue at least more than one class while you're active duty military because if you have a job like infantry where your schedule isn't really predictable and you got you know finals coming up but you're gonna have to go to the field or something like that that's gonna be like okay you know you might have to do just one class or you know two max but if you have a job like me dental specialist i go in this time and i get out this time you know for like the whole year 
I can plan out, you know, okay, as soon as I get off work, work out, you know, after work out, college, you know, but like if you're infantry, you're going to be in the field for 24 hours for up to like two weeks. It's going to cut into your time for college. So essentially, if you're watching this and you haven't joined yet and you want to pursue college while active duty, choose a job in the military that sounds like a civilian job because more than likely that job is going to have like a set schedule that's consistent you guys are gonna have a lot of free time as well compared to infantry or combat arms jobs but if you guys are an infantry or combat arms job it's totally possible too it's just your determination and willpower man like honestly if you're super dedicated you could be a full-time student like me and get that shit done because you got to think about all the time you're gonna save and all the money that you're gonna save by going to college now. If you're that type of person, it's totally doable for you too if you're in combat arms. Also talk to your leadership or chain of command like, hey, I'm in college, can you guys release me early if I get you know, B's this whole semester? That's totally possible too because it was possible for me and I actually did it and it really helped me. So like, evaluate your options. They should be supportive about it because going into the military while you're getting your degree and you actually get that degree helps with your military career and helps you get promoted too. So my advice for anyone trying to do college while active duty is pretty much have a very strong reason why you want to get this college degree because if you have a strong reason why you're getting this degree you're not going to have a hard time when you're unmotivated you know doing your homework or you're not going to you know because definitely when i was doing college right i would just maybe spend a week of just not doing anything i was so unproductive because the degree because at first i studied real estate in real estate you don't really need a degree to do real estate so i was unmotivated i'm like bro i don't really need this degree so it have a strong reason why I'm interested in cybersecurity. I want to make my parents proud as a black person in this country. You know, it used to be illegal for us to get educated. So here's a F you to, you know, those ancestors back then who was against us doing that. You feel me? That's a pretty strong reason. If you're a person of color, if you're a minority, I'm just going to be frank. You feel me? But, um, yeah, bro, literally, man, you guys have to have a strong burning desire to get this stuff done because you guys also have to think about the outcome and how, much better your future looks like if you have this degree next piece of advice is to get a good degree definitely make sure you like what you're doing and what you're pursuing but like get a good degree also that you know brings a living wage in the civilian world or like a comfortable wage like do your research on how much your degree pays you and you know the civilian side add that to your research or into your consideration for that degree honestly kind of using my degree as a fallback plan too because say i don't like the military and i want to get out already valuable in the civilian world because i have this degree or say i do get out and i don't want to use my degree right away and i want to do some other stuff so i still have that degree get this degree bro there's nobody that can take it away from you my next piece of advice is to take baby steps so take one class first see how you actually do. because a lot of people start strong but they finish weak or whatever so take one class see how you do see how going to college while working you know how that is and see if you can manage two three or more you know be really really honest with yourself definitely create a schedule and stick to it so for an example after i work out and get back from work man i am in college for x amount of hours or until i get these x amount of assignments done then i'm going to take a break and then the next day let's get back to it like honestly write out your plan write out your purpose write out your goals and your strategies and stick to it and have daily reminders too lastly it's not that bad the hardest part is starting i honestly recommend it think about all the time you save by going to college now and getting your degree some people get out and go pursue bachelor degrees or college degrees with a classroom filled with 17 18 19 20 year olds when they're like 23 24 25 you know thinking like damn i really should have got my bachelor's degree you know when i was in the military not saying that's anything wrong with that but i'm just saying you can save a lot of time if you literally just hunker down instead of drinking every damn weeknight or weekend doing stupid shit putting your time to good use what's up y'all so in the video i forgot to say that when you guys go to basic training and in your ait depending on what it is you guys are also going to get college credits already and so when you go to college make sure you get your transcript to your college from like your basic training or whatever your counselor can help you out with this so pretty much you already got a head start based off of the military and if you did some like college classes in high school that's even a better start the most important thing is start believing yourself you could do it like i know college for some is kind of intimidating at least for me um because i'm like oh crap college you know high school and then college but honestly basically the same as high school you gotta get over yourself because i expect to like learn all this stuff fast and all this other stuff but you gotta realize that you go there to learn 
And obviously you're not gonna know this, but they're gonna teach you whatever you're trying to learn. So just do it, start with one and just see how you like it. But yeah. But if you guys like the video, definitely like the video, comment down what college degree you would want. And join my Discord if you haven't already to talk to other service members about advice or tips or just talk, play games, whatever. Peace.